<laughs> yeah. Madison on strike. Yeah. And he's got him! Yeah. Oh, he's gone first ball as well. Can do no wrong, Mitch Swepson. Um, Greg Barnes with the next question. Uh, would you be giving young Swepson a run in your first 11? Look, there'd be the temptation to put him in that first test match side. Um, there's an opportunity there. Uh, India haven't seen him. I think that surprise element could be really handy. Um, I think the selectors and Steve Smith have got to work out whether his temperament is up to it. I think the selectors have believe obviously it is because they've picked him a bit from left field. If he wants to, but gets across, he stumps and loses him. But his biggest issue will be able to handle the pressure in that big situation with the crowd making a lot of noise. You know, can he remain calm and composed? Schwepson. Oh, oh, big step, really close, really close. Now, Mark Wall caught it immediately. Straight on from Swepson. You know, it, it does bring that element of surprise against the Indian batsmen. They wouldn't have seen much of him. They probably wouldn't have planned too much against him. Oh, batting it. Trying to catch it. Yes, yes. given. My gut feeling is they probably won't play in the first test match. I think they'll go with Keith and Lyon as the spin options and potentially Glenn Maxwell if he's in the side as the third one. Uh, Troy Garland asked, where would you bat Sean Marsh if he was in your team in the subcontinent? Look, that's an interesting question. And uh, look, for me, while, whilst Renshaw has done exceptionally well in the test matches and done a great job in Australia, I'd be very tempted to play Sean Marsh in the first test. Um, he's got a proven track record. He was the incumbent opener before he got injured. Nicely driven. As we said, a very, very good looking player, Sean Marsh. And when you give him width and length, he puts you away. I think he's ready to go at this level. He's played a lot of IPL. He knows conditions well. It gives Australia a bit more experience. Um, I, would, I would open the batting with, with Ian Dave Warner. Thanks for all your fantastic questions. I look forward to uh, catching up with you again and, uh, and doing some more Facebook Live. See you guys.